so far my most popular video uh, was uh, dealing with automotive electrical problems so I thought I'd uh, make another video uh, this time about how to deal uh, with electrical shorts uh, which can be really hard to uh, pinpoint and I'll go ahead and I'll take us uh, to a wiring diagram uh, and this is the same wiring diagram from the last video so we'll try to keep some continuity and this is the horn circuit on a Chevrolet vehicle and let's say that we are blowing this horn fuse every time uh, we hit the horn um, the, the short could be something intermittent um, where the insulation is worn off a wire and intermittently touches the frame and blows the fuse or it could be a hard failure um, where maybe the wire is pinched in between a body seam or something like that and what I do is uh, instead of jamming fuse after fuse in here I'll go ahead and I'll set up a circuit breaker I'll find a uh, 20 amp circuit breaker to match the fuse and I have rigged up a couple of um, alligator clips with extensions that fit into the fuse holder uh, because the circuit breaker won't uh, directly fit into the fuse holder and when the circuit breaker is connected what happens is, is it will heat up and open the circuit and then it will cool down and complete the circuit and it makes a snapping sound uh, and this will tell us that the short is present when the circuit breaker is uh, snapping like that so the method that I use and I'm sure that there are several but I think what is most important is to just stick with a plan and uh, it winds up becoming second nature and this is the method I was taught is after the circuit breaker is installed I will go ahead and I will find a, um, the halfway point or a point that makes sense in the circuit uh, to go ahead and uh, find a connector to disconnect parts of the circuit uh, this is the horn switch right here and it provides a ground and flows up through the relay and uh, back down through the horns uh, so what I'll do is uh, this connector looks like a convenient spot to break the circuit open so I'll go into the um, auto repair manual and find this um, connector location and I'll disconnect it if the short um, disappears what happens is the circuit breaker stops snapping and I know at that point uh, if the short disappears that the problem is between this connector and the horns uh, this happens to be a section of the wiring harness that is in the engine compartment and uh, it's quite possible that maybe there's a worn spot on the insulation uh, that's touching a metal bracket or uh, something like that. If I disconnect this connector and the short is still present, I'll start heading back towards the fuse and find the next connector and then open that and then see if the uh, short is um, you know, still present. Um, this is the uh, horn relay and you can go ahead and pull the relay and then this will um, disconnect the circuit and will just operate this section of the circuit up to the fuse uh, and this method works pretty well and you just want to make sure that you take a little bit of time and set up your circuit breaker properly and that the two blades don't touch each other when you insert them into the fuse holder and uh, I hope you found this video helpful electrical shorts can be very time consuming uh, to hunt down uh, but this will um, uh, take you down a logical path and break uh, parts of the circuit off and then you can just go ahead and isolate the problems uh, in the areas that um, show a malfunction and uh, I also on my website have a, a new section where I've added repair modules and there is an automotive electrical section uh, that um, has a bunch of free information and you can just go ahead and page down to the articles and select the different articles and there is uh, other videos as well that helps you fix automotive electrical problems and I thank you for watching the video